else isn't going to get their own way with a bit of luck. Uh, uh, trans uh, women athletes, uh, the uh, Health Secretary Victoria Atkins, uh, or rather, wasn't it Lucy Fraser? Lucy she, Fraser, She's yes. written, she's, uh, she's the Culture Secretary, she's written today in the Daily Mail saying it is time now uh, to ban all trans women athletes from female sports. Uh, to give females a sporting chance, it quite simply is not fair. Uh, Lucy is right, isn't she? Absolutely, and I think... It has been, it's, it's a very similar principle. When you have a mob of people who silence uh, the majority by intimidatory behaviour, by shouting people down, by essentially making it so difficult to express uh, a, a perfectly reasonable opinion, um, something has gone fun you know, deeply wrong in our society. But something's gone very wrong with the political class in general, because what I'd say about this is, you know, welcome to the bandwagon, Lucy Fraser, about four years too late, mm. and the only reason she feels she can do it now is because she's got the cover of the of CAS, the CAS report. report. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but where have all the politicians gone that actually had common sense, yeah. conviction, yeah. powers of scrutiny, yeah. a little bit of spine, yeah. because surely those are prerequisite to being a lawmaker in yeah. this country, yeah. Yeah. and yet nobody in the political class anymore says anything. Yeah. I was on any questions last Friday and I was gobsmacked at the ridiculous platitudes coming out from the other panellists. I couldn't tell you what they answered to any question. There wasn't anything discernible from the word suit that they were spewing out. And I think this is the problem we've got in society now because the very people who are supposed to stand up and say we can't have mm. primary schools and high schools having bomb threats in the Muslim community. We can't have, you know, six foot five blokes playing rugby against women and breaking their yeah. kneecaps. The very people who should be doing that who are elected to do that are the last people to the table. Yeah. And you I think see, you see how these people uh, on their political rounds, you know, it's really annoying. You know, quite clear, <laughs> Labour Tory, they have their comp their meetings, right? This is our line. You've all got to go out and say that. Yeah. And then you see pathetic politician after pathetic politician all spewing exactly the same claptrap that they've they devised, nothing. and they think it's clever and and uh, that they're uh, conning they're just so the nation. They're so worried about keeping not. their job and not we, upsetting we can anybody. See what that they're isn't doing. politics. They're reading from a script. People can see that. I think they are, and, you know, to, to be fair to politicians, that you know, if you're of a particular party, there is a particular line to take, and you know, for the good of uh, the, the party, you do have a you know collective responsibility if you're in cabinet or shadow cabinet, for example. Um, and and that is just because you know, if you want to get something done, you can't all be fighting like rats in a sack over every issue. And um, there is a, a logic to it, but there is also, you know, people do reject politicians if they don't speak fluent human. Exactly. Exactly. And I think people, I think the tide is turning, I think, on both these issues, on uh, on particular faiths, trying to um, ex exert more authority on institutions than other faiths, or whether it's the trans issue. People are now um, actually starting to, to have the... Yeah, um, I figured out. Of the so-called culture wars, as the left like to say, oh, yeah. well, the right wing likes soaking up culture wars. No, culture wars is just normal people saying, this yeah. ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you Nonsense. doing? This is bombing. Nonsense. That's I, I, what culture wars are. I completely are. agree. And, they, and using the phrase culture, oh, it's the culture wars, it's the right wing culture wars. Well, there's only a war if there's two sides. And, you know, essentially what they're saying when they throw that accusation around is, we're right and you lot should shut yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah. that is part of the problem. And here's my message to the Wokies. We are fighting the culture wars. And guess what? We're winning. Yeah. And you are losing. <laughs> ha, ha.